Los Angeles Lakers come into town in this game. The sports fans are all nestled beside the 2K Sports broadcast as we bring you visions of NBA action this fine Christmas Eve. Ho, 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 ho. First game back in Golden State for the Warriors. They're ready to play. Facing off here against a very talented ball club, guys. This is a tremendous chance for them to put all their skill and talent on display. Well, this is a special matchup we've got here today. Two of the great franchises in this league. A lot of great games between these two clubs over the years, Clark. You know what? I think if you ask them, Steve, as far as they're concerned, this game counts double time in the standings. It really holds a lot of weight with them. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Mr. Fundamentals, he's in at point guard. Randall and Hill are the four and five. Al Farouk Amino is out there with Kobe. It's Thompson off the drive. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Again, Curry missing. Now Bryant, 17 points for him last game against Sacramento. I thought his rebounding was impressive as well, as he made some big boards, really helped out on the glass, helped his team out big time. Here's Curry. Hands the shot from the wing. Oh, what a sweet stroke from Curry on that one. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Golden State's head coach and I were able to chat. Obviously, he has a lot on his plate when it comes to defending against Kobe Bryant. I asked him what he might do, and he said not much. He's one of the league's all-time best scorers. And no matter what you seem to do, he finds ways to get on the scoreboard. Kobe might be seeing a lot of double teams here tonight, guys. All right, Doris. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Thompson passes to Iguodala. Now Spates. He's coming off a 10-point game against Atlanta. Good! A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Out to Kobe. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. He feeds it to Hill. Aminu, the pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Five on the clock. Shoots from the line. No luck. Curry was a nice D. Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Iguodala with it. Al Farouk Amino covering. Curry kicks to Iguodala. And here is Spates, averaging eight points a game. Here's Curry with the three. Aminu grabs the miss. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Here's Mr. Fundamentals, guarded by Kirk. Lakers passing it around. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Randall. And now Iguodala running the floor all by himself. That is up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Yeah, it really does allow your offense to flow better. When you can get out and run and get easy opportunities, then everybody gains confidence. Here's Mr. Fundamentals, guarded by Kirk. Shots good from Mr. Fundamentals. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Outside Curry. And he finishes nicely on the way. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Six on the shot clock, and stolen by Spates. And here we go with Thompson, running it up the court. Here's Igudala. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. The Warriors shooting their first free throw tonight. The free throw drops for Igudala. Lakers trail by four. 
Here's Mr. Fundamentals. He's got six. 18 feet out, and he gets the jumper to drop. Mr. Fundamentals got eight. Off to a really solid start. He's knocked down four of his first five shots. Here's Curry on target from 13 feet. Tell you what, he is so difficult to guard, especially on a shot like that one. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against the Kings. Ben, you want to talk about a fantastic finish. That game had a little bit of everything and then a, a little bit extra in overtime. What a great win. And it was a great game for the fans, too, and that was a lot of fun for us to watch as well. Here's Curry after Jordan Hill's bucket. Thompson outside. Spades with a screen on Bryant. Fades back. Goes back up, and it's good on the way. Spades has got his first basket of the night. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. And blocked. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Now we're in this quick break and out of the small forward position and the hottest shooters among them over the last month. We'll take a look at Aminu, a great player, second in the league. Well, that is such an efficient group offensively. That's really the best way to describe them. Nothing forced, just solid, smart shots. And at small forward, that's the only way to post that kind of percentage. I mean, just letting them fly from the perimeter isn't going to get it done. You've got to get it inside some, too. Trips down the breakaway slam. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely, those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Yeah, especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Thompson dishes to Iguodala. Curry kicks to Kuzmich. And that one hits back iron. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. He's covered by Thompson. Shot clock at six. He tries for three, and he gets the bucket. Aminu's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. I don't know how they're going to keep this pace up. Both teams on fire here early. And playing the game on rollerblades, too. And now look at Stephen Curry here. Lately, he's been untouchable. He's been in the zone. You see how his performances match up. 11th in assists, and he's just been so consistent from the foul line, ranking in the top 15 in free throw percentage. And how about this terrific passing display he's put on, Steve? I mean, as this place on the assist, if you get to the right spot, he'll find you. That's what he takes pride in. Thompson against Bryant. Iguodala outside. And there's the pass to Curry. Cut the bucket. Curry's got eight points. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Mark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Here's Aminu. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Another lead change. How many of these are we going to have? I don't know, Steve, but the momentum of this game has certainly swung like a pendulum. And there's the fouls on this for fundamentals. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Davis has checked in for Los Angeles. On defense, the Lakers. Is inside. Off with the layup. The Lakers in the lead. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Randall. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The offense just getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layups. Earn it from the line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Lakers? You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And they're knocking down that mid-range jump shot, too. So they're really doing a nice job offensively. And the Warriors making a change here.
Both free throws good from Randall. Warriors trail by four. With some arc, Livingston no luck. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Pass to Davis. Here's the three. Kobe can't hit. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Warriors have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Barnes dishes to Azili. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. The Warriors have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Two shots. That one falls for a zero. And the Lakers with some changes. Ian Kelly, he's checked in for Randall. Young comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Kobe. He's off on the second. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. They have the defender draped all over them. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. The Lakers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And in general, this has been a very good foul shooting team, about 79% on the season. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Lynn. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Atlanta Hawks. And one of the factors in that game was they just couldn't get to the foul line and get enough points from the free throw line to make a difference. And it gave those opposing fans a boost every time another foul shot clanked off the rim. They were letting them hear about that. Whoa, whoa, that'll wake you up. My goodness. Is he an athlete or what? Mm, he just lives above the rim. I mean, dunks like that have become routine for him. Young with no one around. And the three off target. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. It looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Jeremy. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You take a look at Los Angeles. Why a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball, game in and game out. And checking out Golden State. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Seeing where the Lakers are, they're a team that came almost completely off the pace this season. Nobody saw them being in the position they're in. And I'll tell you what, the longer we wait for the bottom to drop out, the more unlikely it gets. I think we've reached a stage where we can officially say they're for real. And he sinks the second. L.A.'s gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. He's got 10. Three-pointer. The shot is off. And there's the feed to Livingston. The Lakers with the rebound. Mr. Fundamentals got three rebounds so far in the game. Down low, Kelly. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And the Lakers lead by four. There it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, getting the ball into the post should be their first option every time down. Force the defense to adapt and adjust. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point guard sometimes. Yeah, when he does decide to attack 